Kumbo. Uh, Ramani Kumbo is the former Highlanders football player. He also played for the Zimbabwe national uh, team. At one point, he also became the coach, uh, in fact, assistant coach of the Zimbabwe national team, the first Zimbabwe national team to actually qualify to play at the uh, African uh, Nations uh, Football Club, at the at CAF, uh, the African Nations yes, Football Club uh, tournament. And uh, also, apart from that, he also became one of the, the national coaches uh, of Zimbabwe. So when we are talking of Raman Kumbo, we are talking of a man who has played a significant role, particularly within uh, the football of Zimbabwe. But what is certain uh, is that the football management body of Zimbabwe, which is the Zimbabwe uh, Football Association, and that is your ZIFA, hasn't actually issued any statement following the death of this legend. Uh, even the government of Zimbabwe, even the Ministry of Sport, uh, to a man who contributed largely to, to what football is uh, today in Zimbabwe. You cannot talk about the Zimbabwean football without uh, actually talking about Raman Kumbo. So Raman Kumbo uh, is said to have actually succumbed to heart attack. It was a sudden uh, death and he was now coaching uh, in Botswana. Uh, next to our neighboring country uh, in Botswana. So what does this tell you about uh, Zimbabwe? Uh, I have always alluded that uh, achievers, particularly from multiple land, they are not uh, treated uh, fairly, they are not treated equally with people who make achievements in Mashonaland. And that is actually a fact. Uh, and the uh, Zimbabwean football, as well uh, as all aspects of Zimbabwe, have been politicized uh, because you would expect uh, the nation to be in mourning, particularly following the passing away of a man uh, like Raman Kumbo, uh, who has contributed a lot uh, in terms of developing. Uh, the football, not only the football from Matipeleland, but the football uh, in Zimbabwe as a whole. When we are talking of Raman Kumbo, he's a, a well-known player internationally and even on the African continent because he did not only coach in Zimbabwe, he did not improve football only in Zimbabwe, but also in the African continent because he died uh, whilst coaching uh, in Botswana. Uh, and uh, who knows, maybe if uh, he had more time to live, he was going to, to expand uh, his career. Uh, what what does this speak, especially the fact that the Zifa is actually quiet about this truth? Just to issue a statement, uh, because this man is a legend. Just imagine if it was a coach from the other part of Zimbabwe. Uh, was Zifa going to behave in a manner that it is behaving uh, today? And uh, this, is what, this is part of the things that is taking uh, Zimbabwe backwards. Uh, because uh, the treatment between uh, the, the, the football achievers uh, of Matabeleland as well as Mashonaland is totally different uh, by this government, even by the, 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 the state institutions, which are supposed to be manning a uh, football. And football shouldn't, I mean, politics and football, obviously it shouldn't be mixed, but it's not the fact uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, if uh, it was the fact in Zimbabwe, we're going to see Zifa uh, issuing a statement. We're going to see even the Minister of Sport uh, issuing a statement. Just imagine if Raman Kumbo was maybe uh, somebody from South Africa. You, you, you have seen South Africans celebrating uh, their own, not only South Africa, all over the world, stars who have actually emerged and made a contribution just like Raman Kumbo uh, would be recognized, would be respected, would be honored. Uh, sometimes by the president himself, uh, the nation would enter into a period of mourning. But this is not the fact uh, with the Zimbabwe. We are not seeing that. Uh, in fact, everything is going as normal. It is only Highlanders supporters. Uh, it is only the people from Matapeleland who are mourning uh, Raman Kumbo. It is only people from social media who are talking about him because you can't bury the legacy uh, of especially a, a, a champion. Uh, because Raman Kumbo played a very, very pivotal role 
within the football of Zimbabwe. I think he, he may be ignored by the government of today. He may be ignored by the football management body of today. Uh, but the future generations, because of his footprints, uh, would actually honor and recognize him. It is very, very embarrassing uh, that in, in, in such a time such as this, we should be talking about these issues, just minor issues. And this tells you uh, systematic tribalism that exists in Zimbabwe, particularly to the people uh, who, who comes from Matebele. No matter what you may do, as long as you are coming from Matebele, and especially if you are not associated uh, with uh, maybe ZANU-PF, if you are not having close proximity uh, to ZANU-PF, uh, you would never, uh, your contributions to the nation would never be recognized. And it's an embarrassment. And it's an embarrassment. I'm still looking forward to see uh, Zifa issuing a statement speaking about Raman Kumbo. Uh, we, we will be watching this story and see how it unfolds. Thank you very much for watching us. If you're watching us for the first time, please do remember to press the red or black subscribe button so that next time when we film live, guess what you pick